tell us about the inspiration behind the golf outing and how that started and, and any details that you want to give us about, about the outing. Well, I, I, I thank you for the opportunity. I, I actually love the story um, because of how it did develop. It was somewhat by accident, but it was a force of nature. My wife had just given birth to our second son. And uh, I have a lot of friends who, like me, love to go golfing. And I had uh, fortunately gotten several invitations from different people who were in my life. And uh, they said, Jay, why don't we get out of the house for a few hours and go hit some balls? And I said, I'd love to, but I've got this one, this one, and this one who also want to golf. And my wife being home with a three-year-old and a newborn is not going to let me take six hours off 12 consecutive weeks. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But I really didn't want to lose the opportunity to go out and golf with my friends and have this opportunity. And so what I thought maybe we should do is all golf on the same day. And so I sent an email blast out to like the eight or nine friends who had wanted to golf. And I said, I, the subject was Zimner Invitational. And I wrote in my email to my friends, look, I'm not able to go out nine separate times, but I can go out once and I'd like to golf with all of you. I'll pick up the tab for golf. You guys pick up the bar tab after the round and we'll all get together on such and such a date. And here's where we're going. And people loved it. And we all ended up going. Everybody could make it on the date that we selected. We had a great time. We had great weather, played a great course. We had a good time after the round. And 10 minutes after we were starting to gather our things to leave, it was, Jay, you got to do this again next year. <laughs> and from nine, it went to That's 15 people that wanted to then participate. And then 23 people. And then we moved to another course and 23 became 32 and 32 became 72. And then we've added other elements of this. And we had 150 people two years ago. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't conduct the event last year because of the pandemic. So we took a pause, uh, a short break. And now I think we're coming back uh, with a great deal of, of strength. And uh, there's power in numbers. And the, 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 the sort of the proof is in the number of people who have already uh, purchased a ticket to participate, which I'm thrilled to see. Um, it's a real validation for the kind of work that we put into it and the kind of charity that we're supporting. And truthfully, it's the relationships that have been formed over the course of several years now, 10 years with the camp, eight years with the Zimner Invitational, and people look forward to it. It, it becomes, like you said, you used a great word early in this program, celebration. It's a celebration for those that are fortunate enough to come to such an outing. And it's a celebration for those that are doing charitable work. And it's a celebration for the kids who are able to actually recognize that there's something beyond the streets of New York that may allow them to have great growth uh, by being in nature and having a different experience, one that they haven't had an opportunity to experience. And I think that all should be celebrated. It's just a beautiful, wonderful party. It's festive, it's all day long from 7.30 in the morning, starts at breakfast throughout the contest and into the evening. And, and it's just been a really, really amazing thing. It's gotten bigger than me. It's, it's you know, there are people now that are running the <laughs> yeah. event, the Zimner Invitational, it's, it's awesome. kind of makes me laugh. <laughs> you know, Jay, it's, it's great. I, I, you know, obviously um, I don't know you all that well, but I'm getting to know you through this and the subsequent conversation we've had. And it's just so great that you've put your, uh, your enthusiasm for life, your zest for life into something positive like this. You love golf. So you're able to tie the golf in, you know, you're, you're helping other people by bringing them together and you've created an annual um, event that, that you get to enjoy. And at the same time, it really is making a difference. And, uh, you know, uh, we talk about helping others and, you know, nonprofits and, and charities and such. And when you, when you do put yourself out there, you realize you get so much more back. And uh, if everybody had that attitude, boy, it'd be even a, you know, a better world to live in. 